So oftentimes, if you're trying to make a case for the pro-life view, um, you will be challenged by different people uh, who say things back in the form of what's not quite an argument, but what is a statement. And people often ask me, how in the world do I respond to this? Things like, abortion is a woman's right to choose. Uh, things like, you're a man, so you can't talk about this issue because it's a women's issue. Um, even things like, uh, if we were to outlaw abortion, then women would just seek illegal abortions in back alleys and women might be harmed um, in trying to obtain these abortions. Um, first of all, none of these things are dealing with things that are easy. So I don't wanna be flippant about the way that I handle them. But what's important to remember when it comes to the pro-life view is that it is in the form of an argument. The basic pro-life syllogism says, uh, it is wrong to intentionally kill innocent human beings. Abortion intentionally kills innocent human beings. And there is a case to back that up that gr is grounded in science and philosophy. Therefore, abortion is wrong. That's your syllogism, it is your argument, and people have to interact with that argument in order to make a case for the view they're trying to promote. The problem is that none of those three that I just named, and many others like them, deal with the argument. So let's take the first one for just, uh, for example, um, abortion is a woman's right to choose, somebody might say. Well, they have, all they have done is given you an assertion. They have asserted something to you. They haven't backed it up with any kind of an argument. So my first question to them is gonna be, choose what? <laughs> Essentially, they're gonna to have to say, uh, choose to terminate a pregnancy, choose to end a pregnancy, and now you're in a conversation where you can go to science and go to philosophy and make your case for the pro-life view by appealing to those things. They've just made an assertion. So don't feel like you have to jump on the defensive, stop them in their tracks by asking, Choose what? The second one, you can't say anything about abortion because you're a man. Well, they aren't, again, addressing the syllogism. They're not addressing the argument. What they are doing is attacking you instead of addressing the syllogism. So we have assertions that don't work, attacks don't work either. In this case, when someone is told they can't talk about abortion because they are male, it is an attack on their gender. Um, it's no different than something like name calling. Uh, you got to kind of look out for it and be gracious in pointing it out. But when someone attacks you because of your gender, that's actually sexism and it's wrong. Also, they haven't addressed the pro-life argument at all by attacking you. The third one uh, that deals with the fact that if abortion is made illegal, women might try to seek illegal abortions um, and, and then be harmed in the seeking of them. Um, the first thing I wanna to say to that is that anyone who is harmed because of abortion is a travesty. But this one assumes something about the unborn. It assumes that the unborn are not human beings because nobody is talking about the unborn human beings who are going to be killed when women seek back alley abortions or abortions of any kind. Um, if abortion truly does kill an innocent human being, then what is so wrong with laws that make it more difficult to do that? And we don't look at people who commit drive-by shootings or armed robberies and say, wow, you know what, just in case they're going to be harmed in the committing of that crime, we need to make it safer for them to do so. So what you have here are arguments, are, are not arguments actually, um, you have an assertion, an attack, and an assumption, none of which address the pro-life syllogism that I've given you. Um, what I would encourage you to do is just be on the lookout for those and bring it graciously and lovingly back to the argument so that you can keep your eye on the ball with that main question, what is the unborn, and then go from there.